Hey, Big Gambo here. Today I'm just gonna show you what sold on eBay. I sold 28 items over the last 24 hours for a total of $766.90. So the way that breaks down is $99 in fees are gonna be taken out. $140 in shipping is gonna be taken out after I ship it. And $112 in cost of goods, what I paid for the item. And that is gonna leave me with $415 in profit. I sold these cool shorts. It is October 20th, and I listed them on October 20th, actually just a little bit after midnight last night, and they sold instantly. I had them listed for 28 bucks, and they sent an offer this morning for 20, and I said, you know, what the heck? I accepted it. Um, if you can find the actual style of the cool shorts, sometimes you can get like 35 bucks. I find them so frequently that I don't mind just flipping them super quick for 20. We sold an Ariat sweater, Ariat, sorry. This one had like pilling and wear all over it. And it's been in my store since March 25th, a very, very long time. It sold for 20% off of 1188. So eight or nine bucks. Yeah, it's in pretty terrible condition. Got it at the bins. Um, I'd still say it's safe to pick up pretty much any area. And they also paid $7.50 shipping on that, and I think it's going to ship out for about 5 bucks, first class. Oh, we got a little offer here. Should we see what it is? This pair of Link Sole golf pants I have listed for $25.88, and I just keep getting offers. Um, they sent an offer for $20, so since I have a 20% off coupon, I'm obviously going to take that. I think that's slightly higher than um, what my coupon would have given them. I think it'd be like $19.90 if they use the coupon. So obviously going to accept that. So there's another thing sold. Um, also sold these 511 Tactical Ripstop Cargo Pants for 20% off of $20.88. So like $16. Bucks. They got some wear on the knee. Um, some of that. I pick these up pretty much anytime I find them at the bins. I don't pay up on them too much unless they're like brand new or in amazing condition. So an REI Co-op quarter zip tech shirt. It's just like a little lightweight athletic shirt sold for 20% off of 1988, so like 16 bucks. Pretty much anything REI Co-op I pick up, especially if it is something you can look up that top number right there is the style code. So if you just enter that into Google images, let's see, what was it? Yeah, I, I Googled Jack Black fat because um, people keep calling me Jack Black, so I wanted to see what he looks like. Uh, let's see, 887279, 8872. Seven nine. R E I Co op. So yeah, that's how I figured out what it was called. Boom. And then you go back onto eBay, you enter that in. The quarter zip tech shirt. R E I quarter zip tech shirt. It's going to give you 13 results. Three of them are mine. And then let's see how many sold. Oops. 10 have sold. So pretty high sell through rate. Lower prices though. There's mine. There's mine. Um, yeah, that's how I do my research. So since it's a kind of a higher sell through rate, I'd probably pick it up if it's a reasonable price. And that's what I did. And I listed it at that price and it sold. So there you go. Sold a pair of Marine Layer Yoga Jogger Sweatpants. These were new with tags. Marine Layer is a okay brand. Some of the stuff better than other stuff. Um, but yeah, I picked these up probably like six bucks in the thrift. And that's all I have to say about that. I don't find that brand that much, so I can't tell you that much about it. Um, here's a Chico's Traveler Slinky. That's the keyword you want to use. Cardigan top. I probably should use the word jacket or blazer. This is almost like a blazer. Let's see how long ago I listed. I listed this in July, so 
even since July, I've gotten so much better at listing. Because since then, I've listed like 2,000 more items. Um, and I think it would have sold quicker if I did that. Also, this is probably going to be under a pound, so I'm going to make some money on the shipping there. But yeah, you're basically looking for this kind of like, a lot of the time it's black, it's kind of shiny. This material here, it's like heavyweight and stretchy. Um, I highly recommend picking up Chico's Traveler's Line at the bins. Sold a, I picked this shirt up for myself. I just kind of liked the way it looked. It was like a heavy cotton shirt, um, but it didn't fit. Nothing ever fits me. So, sorry, I gotta do some adjusting here. Um, yeah, so I listed it for 15.88 and it sold for probably around 12 bucks with the coupon. Just some vintage Dockers, not that great. This I picked up a long, long time ago, August 2nd. So I have all my, um, I usually do a markdown sale, but I turned it off a couple days ago. I usually do that at the end of my big markdowns. I do like maybe like five days with it off because it kind of like shoves everything back into the algorithm in a weird place. This is all just what's happening in my mind. And I do sell a lot of these older items at like uh, full price with the coupon, of course. Um, and then after the five days, I throw everything back on the markdown sale. It's, it's weird how it happens. Like sometimes you'll have something like this and when it gets down to $5, eBay just like won't show it anymore. And then when you throw it back up for $30, it sells immediately. So, you know, you just gotta, whatever. I'm gonna do a video on the markdowns uh, right after this. Yeah, but I found this in Las Vegas and it sold after a really, really long time. Probably paid like five bucks for it. But I always look up the soccer jerseys. Anyways, let's keep going. A Nike ACG sweater sold 20% off of $24.88. I should have been showing you this the whole time. This one I listed in August 27th, so it's been a while. But like I said, turned off the sale and then the stuff is selling for some reason now. Nike ACG, that's the logo. It's better than regular Nike. Um, this is kind of like an older one, like early 2000s it looks like from the tag. But yeah, always keep your eye out for that. Look how gross and dry my fingers are. Still sold. Let's see, a Mountain Hardware sweater. Mountain Hardware is a middling brand, I'd say, for outdoor. Better than Columbia. Probably better than Orvis, unless it's vintage Orvis. But, you know, I always pick it up. This one's kind of a nappy looking fleece there. I think I got this for a dollar at Mary's Thrift Store. See, look at all the details I get in there. A lot of wear on the zipper. So not in great condition. Let's see what I said. I said good condition. I have like a grading scale where it's like great condition, good condition, okay condition, bad condition, distressed condition. Um, good is my second one down. There is light fuzzy wash wear on the fabric. Shown in photos. I should have mentioned the zipper paints off too. Hey, it's a vintage one, cool. What else sold? A Duluth Trading Co. fishing vest. I thought I was gonna get more like 25 for this one. It's been like, what, two months or something? I'm not good at months. Months. But we got 18 plus shipping for it. Good deal. I got this at St. Vincent de Paul, I think for like five bucks. A Life is Good t-shirt. Probably sold for 11.91 with the coupon. I just pretty much always pick these up at the bins or if they're like three bucks, especially with the men's uh, bigger sizes. <sighs> some Prana Bronson pants, not in great condition. So you can see some stains there. They're faded. They're like kind of shrunk and shriveled around the waist. Still got 16 bucks for them. That's a bad picture, it's kind of fuzzy. See how I just point everything out? Yeah, I would I would pick them up again though. What happened here? eBay's glitching. Braun is great. Sold this random vintage shirt. Oh, let's see what this offer is. <sighs> Dude, see like this is what I'm talking about. I have a coupon for 20% off 
and they sent a seventeen dollar offer on a nineteen eighty eight item. So obviously I'm gonna accept that. Because if they use the coupon, they'd get it for like fourteen ninety one or fifteen bucks or something. But people can't do math. Item has ended. Perfect. Anyways, I sold this just basic single stitch shirt. Probably a Ben's find. Nothing really much to it. I just pretty much always pick them up at the Ben's. So there you go. So some Gymshark leggings for $14. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't picking up Gymshark for a while, but I figured out you're only going to get a Vero on it if you use the stock images, so you are good to sell it. But if you do get a Vero, don't get all mad at me. There was some fuzz on the back, like weird elastic fibers poking out. So let's see. Good, great condition. There's a little wear on the back of the waistband, is what I said. Yeah. Uh, I sold another pair. This one sold on an offer of 20% off 1888, so I think that's 1491. Same thing. I don't look up the style on these. I can't really figure it out. I'm pretty sure that's the style number there, but I've never been able to get it. I sold some Adriano Goldschmied jeans. Not all Adriano Goldschmied jeans are good. Um, the Telus you're gonna find all the time. It's okay. I do pick it up if it's like seven bucks or under. Um, but these ones are in pretty good condition here. These ones, they do have like a good amount of spandex in them and they get blown out crotches where it has like rippling. So you just gotta look out for that. Now let's see, they sold, they've been listed for a long time. And the buyer probably paid around, what, 22 bucks for them? Plus shipping. Here's some Duluth Trading Co. women's pants. Duluth Trading Co. women's is like, in my experience, way better than the men's. You just gotta look up the style, which is gonna be right there, that top number. And then, just like I showed you earlier, you just put it in Google Images, bada bing, um, look up the sell-through rate, and it's usually pretty good. For the men's, it's just never that good. Sold some Ben's jeans. Uh, I pick up Dickie's jeans at the Ben's. I never do at the thrift. And they always sell pretty well, if they're a good size. These ones had a 34 inch inseam. For example, I won't pick them up if they're a 30 inch inseam. It's just too low end of a brand. There's this one guy in the uh, reseller Nirvana Facebook group, and he's like a jeans expert. And he's like, he can sell rustlers like the worst brand of jean for $30 because he knows exactly what size has the highest sell through rate and like what he knows like every model and every size and every sell through rate. He's like a jeans expert, like jeans that people can sell for $30 all day. He can sell them for 75 all day. And he also like distresses them sometimes. Pretty interesting. So I've learned a lot from that guy. When it comes to the sizing, this got returned and I sold it again for more. I believe the first time I sold it, sold it for like $20 plus shipping. And, uh, it sold so fast that I listed it again uh, one week ago. And it sold for about $5 more plus shipping. So that's how that goes with returns. The lady probably said, I think she said it was too big. I don't really care. But it sold again, Free Fly, great brand. Lower prices, high sell through rate. I don't know what the kids are doing out there. You're just gonna have to bear with me here. Uh, Athleta Headlands Hybrid, Hybrid Cargo Tight. So with like Athleta, Lululemon, I always do brand and then I do the exact style, which is what I did here. And they sell super fast if it's a high sell through rate style. These were like a nice big size oh and this one has the actual style right there i think these black tags are the newer athleta tags and usually when you see athleta and it has the actual style printed on it that's a good sign 40 bucks i'm guessing i paid six or seven for these a fox racing flannel shirt guy offered me 15 for it i came back with 20 and he accepted Fox is a super desirable brand for some reason. I don't know why. I pretty much pick up anything Fox that's like under seven bucks. 
This sold. I picked this up the other day. I had it listed for 25 and they came at me with 1941 for some reason. And I accepted. See, it was only listed four days. It's just a Target hoodie sweatshirt. Maybe they want it for Halloween or something. I don't know. Uh, but Target stuff does well. Even just the basic vests you can flip pretty quickly. This sold really fast, actually. Four days. They usually price these at eighteen eighty eight, and um, I looked at my sell to rate in my store on Tommy Bahama sweaters, and it was like absolute trash. So I just listed this for thirteen eighty eight. Believe it's a Ben's find, and it had like some fuzz inside the color. As you can see, I disclosed right there and wrote, "Good condition." There's light fuzz wear inside the collar, shown in photos. Yeah, and it flipped quick. I don't recommend picking these up though; they kind of suck. I get them at the Ben's. Um, just do whatever you want, but I don't recommend it. That's kind of a fluke that it sold that fast. And it was a 20% off coupon, so it was probably like 10 bucks it flipped for. So this cool jacket for 35 bucks. I think I had it listed at like 50 or 45, and I listed it four days ago, and someone sent an offer for 35, I accepted. I might have held out for like 45 if it wasn't a men's small. Still a really cool item though. If this was a large, I probably would have kept it. Cool's great. Sold a Duluth Trading Co. Button up shirt. I don't know why this one sold. I listed like 10 of these last week. Uh, three days ago I listed this. And this is the one that decided to sell first. The most boring one. It's men's large, tall. It's got the tall on there, so it's a good size. It probably sold for about $16 with the coupon. Plus shipping on every... Everything has shipping on top, just so you know. Um, yeah, Duluth Trading Co., great bread and butter brand. This little girl here, um, it looked like it might have been cut on the hem there, because I think there's supposed to be a grippy thing here. But I wasn't 100% sure, so I didn't say cut, or maybe I did. But there was no size dot as well, so I couldn't find the style. It was just a total pain in the ass to list it. Um, still got like $23.5 after the coupon. But some of these uh, Lululemon squirts you can get like 40 bucks for. Hopefully she doesn't say this was cut and I want to return it. Because I honestly, because it was like, the stitching right there ended like cleanly at the end of the stitch. But all the other Lululemon skorts that I found had like a grippy thing around there. So I don't know. Hopefully she doesn't think that's something wrong with it. Okay, then we sold some Lululemon at ease jogger men's small heather gray elastic waist drawstring sweatpants. I listed these I think last night for 65 bucks and someone offered me 35 and then I was like ah, 45 and then he said 40 and I figured oh what the heck so I accepted it so I'm not super attached to my stuff I'm gonna find another pair of Lululemon joggers next week um, probably in the next couple days maybe tomorrow when I go thrifting so and they're men's small so I'm happy to just whoop quick flip and that's everything I sold, I believe. So thank you for watching. Big Yumbo.